You will not find Frenchie at the top of the Billboard charts, but you could say that's because he is an artist's artist, quite literally. Frenchie makes concerts his canvas, setting up his easel among the crowds to capture musicians at work. Mark Shear watched Frenchie do his thing at a Willie Nelson show Wednesday night. Nelson's on the road again at New York's Irving Plaza, and Frenchie is there in the back of the house beginning his painting. This New Orleans artist has done around 500 paintings over the past seven years or so, most of them at concerts. By coincidence, a painter of some repute, Peter Max, happened to be at the sound check earlier. Very nice. Are you going to be hanging out for the show tonight? For a little bit. i got to go back to the studio. Wherever there's a group of people, there's an essence of energy. And that's what I like to tap into, channel that energy, and put that into my canvas. What happens to the paintings when you're done? Well, there's a thousand scenarios. Sometimes I'm pre-commissioned, sometimes the musicians want them, and if the musicians want them, I sell, uh, you know, whatever. I, whatever it takes, I make sure they get the painting, because that's their energy. You ever think you'd like to try it yourself? No. <laughs> I, I know what I better stick with. I'm going to paint my ass off. Tonight. Hey, I'll be looking at you. Way to go, Frenchie! Way to go! As he translates drum strokes into brush strokes, musical notes into acrylic colors, and curious concert goers cheer him on, Frenchie has an ulterior motive. Well, they're watching me paint. So then all of a sudden, they think to themselves, hey, you know what? This guy's out creating. You know what? I can create too. It's been so long since I went out and created something. You know, maybe I'll go out and create something tomorrow. The finished painting is another original Frenchie, the guy who gives new meaning to the term performance artist. Mark Shearer, CNN Entertainment News, New York. And as Frenchie might say, it's time for us to say au revoir. Until next time, tomorrow the stars will tell us how they plan to celebrate Earth Day. Until then, from a very earthy New York, I'm Lauren Sidney.